see your kid just collapsing on the floor and you don't know if she's gonna wake up or not. That was so terrifying. It started to get a lot, like several per day and it started to get longer. We had several neurologists giving us medicine, which didn't really help, didn't do anything. The first thing I remember Ella was how bright and sharp and sweet she was. But the thing that saddened me at that time was she was not doing her full potential because of the epilepsy. He actually sat down with us and suggested uh, surgery. One of the things that we try and do here at Duke is, is take the, the scare out of brain surgery. It's a conversation. There's never any pressure uh, to do surgery. You, you go in there to just want some assurances that your kid is going to be okay because if she's not okay, we're not okay. Duke is one of the best epilepsy centers in the country. When you come to Duke as a child, there's no operation that's possible in the world right now that we don't do at Duke. First thing is what is causing the seizure. For her case, it was due to in utero stroke. She has a stroke in life that caused weakness on one part of the body and scar on that side of the brain. we realized, based on some special tests that we do, that her function, her ability to, say for example, move one side of her body, had already moved to the good side of the brain that didn't have the stroke. And the bad side of her brain was more or less there only to seize and not to serve any function. And that is what made um, what we were able to do when she was eight possible. And that's something called a functional hemispherectomy. What we do is we disconnect that part of the brain that's causing the seizures while still leaving that tissue alive and behind. And then we did sir, the, the operation and he comes out and he's like, your daughter, after the surgery when I wake her up, she just hit me with her left foot on my face. <laughs> And I just collapsed laughing. I said, what does that mean? She proved to us within seconds after the operation that her leg was just as good after the operation as before it, which is what we had expected, but is always so happy to see, even if it means you're getting kicked in the process. She hadn't had any seizure since May. It's been 14 months. To, to our amazement, she's opening up. It's like her brain was locked with a key and somebody just opened it. She's happier, she's learning, she started reading. Now she is running for a beautiful future. Every seizure you have, it makes it more likely that you're going to have another seizure. And that's why it's so important, although scary, to come have conversations with folks like me who are not going to push for surgery, but want to give you all the options that are on the table rather than just another medication. Whenever I see Ella, I started thinking of my daughter. It could be my daughter. I could be sitting here. And how can I help be them? kind to everyone. I wake up every morning with the express purpose of making kids' lives with epilepsy better. And I tell every one of my families that I am going to treat their child just like they were my own. And that means that I have a really large family. The privilege of being able to walk beside a family um, on a journey that's sometimes quite scary um, has been the greatest one of my life. Uh, on Dr. Bristol, he would have bit seizures away. Do you, what do you feel after taking Better. the seizure? Better. And what Better. else? Better. What else? Happy? Happy.